from divine sister of the light Erini, crystal and indigo guide to the galaxy, Athens, Earth's Kundalini, the inner sun, twin flame update, everything that we are experiencing through our process of restoration of the divine Kundalini takes place in the overall system of Earth too. Earth has its own Kundalini, which is related to the North Star and the axis, spine, that vertically runs the whole system. In different periods of the multidimensional clock, the portal of the Earth's Kundalini opens and the plasma of the inner sun comes through. These are the periods in which people wake up, receive DNA upgrades, and become more smart, more etheric, more charismatic while they remember the truth of their story and identity. In other periods, the opening or portal of the Earth's Kundalini closes down and people lose many of their abilities as they receive less light from the inner sun, so they become less smart and more material. Fortunately, we are now in the period where the portal opens, so the inner sun's radiation is flowing in this realm through the reflective portal for the 3D sun and our bodies to upgrade. Imagine the whole process like leaving the epoch of winter and entering the epoch of summer, which is being initiated by the bigger cosmic clock, or like a big inhalation and a big exhalation of the system that we live in. Us, we are bound to follow those rhythms and cycles that the system initiates. The system is pushing us to change, and we respond by changing. Resisting change automatically means rejection and exit from the cycle of the new flow. It is important to have this information so that one can decide what to do, change, or exit. This push for change has now reached a great increase, and this month will offer great clear proof of this. This month is the month of breaking of the loops between the masculine and the feminine. The breaking of the loops for the unaware collective will take place via strong, unexpected, but also very wise developments. The twin flames are now entering a very special period of the conscious breaking of their loops. During this period, the feminine presence, essence, and worth will be witnessed and felt as the queen which is now taking her new place. This is a place that the collective had forgotten that it even existed. I am mentioning this as it is very important. There will be no continuation towards the new paradigm without the feminine queen in her position. This needs to be clearly understood. On the other hand, the masculine has been supported by the feminine queen in so many ways, but he does not really seem to understand what her return means for him. In many cases, even respected, successful, and spiritual males are still demeaning the feminine and think that she will continue playing a role of the follower, servant, or supporter. In other cases, males wish to become the feminine supporter, followers, or servants. Neither is the case that can work in the new energy. This is the time for self-sovereignty, growth, and adult souls. The feminine has returned to have the role and position of the co-creator. Co-creation, mutual respect, recognition, and appreciation is the only way in which the bridge of life can be restored. The bridge will not be steady and strong if there is still active distortion and imbalances between yin and yang energies. This month is going to be a big test for both the feminine and the masculine. She is called to claim and take her new conscious position and full responsibility for her role. If she doesn't do this willingly, she will be pushed even more via more suffering until she gets what she is meant to do. He is called to humble himself, share, reposition, and in many cases leave his comfort zone and abandon certain egocentric behaviors and privileges that he was enjoying just by being a male in this world. Distorted and childish demands are over. I have personally been many times a witness of males from different places of the world who are considered awakened guides or leaders, being unable to distinguish the difference between co-creation and one-sided creation that basically excludes the feminine wisdom from the decision-making process. 
in my opinion the existence of these blind spots in the masculine is due to lack or resistance to therapy so a big part of himself and the true causes of his inner distortion is unknown to him there is still a very big resistance to open up and connect to his true feelings due to inner negative criticism that runs in the family flows and society norms this is one big ill loop that the masculine is called to break if the masculine within all doesn't respond positively to this development the answer from the universe will be very strong even devastating I have been witnessing this playing out in many different cases, especially during the past few weeks. This is not the time to continue disrespecting because it is not the way of natural law. The only way for the masculine shadow to heal and escape the ego traps and mental disorder is by truly addressing childhood and generational trauma and soul karma meaning by really attending to his healing and nurturing so that he can return to his true power without being threatened or feeling that he needs to subordinate to the feminine there will be no more external energy supporting arrogance and egotism many male leaders or spiritual guides in all kinds of fields will lose their female supporters as the energies now will be so intense that it will be so easy for them to impulsively expose their shadow in unproductive ways only to realize it is too late the matter antimatter heart spreads its big wings and it is all inclusive meaning of both masculine and feminine energies this heart is the portal of birthing the new life the inner loops are breaking revealing the truth behind each experience they are opening the way for the organic flows to come in and bring restoration in the paths and nodes of the kundalini this is the development that is igniting the i am solar consciousness we are really leaving oblivion and the dark ages behind we are becoming the presence and essence of the inner sun's trinity blessings to all for a very constructive month we got this eri ni amalthia thor har zaronya hunama anata kumara yellow galactic warrior 